Morning Lit 101. Hope you're having a good time. I hope you had a good weekend. Hope you're rocking and rolling. Um, we uh, are going to have an asynchronous day today. Before you finish the video, you should pause it, go back to Canvas, and take the quiz. The quiz is due by 10 a.m., so uh, you can have fun with that. Come back, finish watching the video, and then you can go to the discussion board. I posted um, the beginning of a new thread all about Persepolis and the Cultural Revolution in Iran. So, here we go. First and foremost, we got to think about Persepolis. Um, <clears throat> now, the story begins, Margie, Marjane Sertrapi, is uh, 10 years old. This is 1980, um, right at the beginning of the Cultural Revolution. Cultural Revolution in Iran, um, this is Ayatollah Khomeini um, really sort of consolidating power. Um, Khomeini um, took over, basically took over the universities, um, exiled, arrested, executed um, college professors who were teaching secular things, um, leftists, any anyone speaking out against the government was in grave danger. Uh, it was a very violent time. Uh, when we think about a cultural revolution, we think, oh, well, you know, things, culture is progressing. It was a very, it was a revolution in terms of changing Iranian culture from a more secular culture in the 60s and 70s into a very tightly organized Islamic state in the 1980s. So, and, and this is really kind of still that way today. Um, let's see, we, um, Khomeini died in 1989, but the, the ideals of the Cultural Revolution persisted. So we have, um, a really strong central government, oppressive, um, anti-secularism, anti-intellectualism, uh, arresting, murdering, uh, college professors, intellectuals, revolutionaries, writers, burning books. Um, and as Persepolis, or I'm sorry, as Marjane Satrapi, or Margie as she's known in the book, is this 10-year-old kid witnessing this, but also confused, right? Unaware of, of what's going on and why this is going on, because she's so young. Um, she's witnessing her parents her extended family dealing with this, some fleeing the country. Her grandfather is straight up killed in the streets after getting out of jail for his beliefs. He's been jailed as a revolutionary. He gets out, and then he's killed. Um, it's a pretty rough life. And here she is, this little girl, just trying to be a kid, right? Um, uh, now, the other thing we need to think about is one the influence of Western culture? She's wants to wear T-shirts, particularly like uh, English and American rock band T-shirts. She's into bands like The Clash, which, if you know The Clash, doesn't really jive with the Cultural Revolution. They were very left-wing, politically active, um, kind of revolutionary, uh, and that's how she sees herself as a kid, and then. Of course, that's how she sees herself as an adult, looking back on this time and writing the book to tell the story um, uh, of how things in her mind went wrong in Iran, what was going on, and how we can tell that story, how we can show that story, right? Because it is a graphic novel. It's the only graphic novel we're covering this semester. Um, so we got to think about how that uh, is different than reading the other texts we've covered. So the other thing with the discussion board is talk about that too. How is this a different experience? How do the pictures, how do the images help convey that story? Uh, it's a simple art, right? When we look at it, black and white, um, pen and ink drawings, very little shading. It's either black or white, you know. There, there's not very, not a lot of detail. It, it's very stark, very simple. Um, simple but also, in, from another perspective, complex. Lots of stuff is going on in these pictures. 
there's a lot of things to think about, a lot of things to notice. So take a look again at the pictures. Talk about it in the discussion board. Think about how the Cultural Revolution is affecting a kid like Margie. Um, how is it affecting her family? I'll see you on Thursday, and we will finish the book. We will start taking a look at... Um, final exam questions on Thursday as well. I'll probably post one Tuesday or Wednesday, though, for you to think about. Have a fun couple days. I'll see you around like a record.